Now, ladies and gentlemen, Counter-Strike Global Offensive the past three years has been a very huge success. A hit, some people might even call that. Ever since we were introduced to the new generation of operations, such as Shotter Web, Broken Fang, and now Riptide, the player count has been steadily growing ever since those came out, and has been introducing new players along the way. And at this point in time, CSGO was hitting new all-time high records across the board for everything. That's with skins, cases, stickers, any monetary item in the game, but most importantly, the player count. And that's obviously causing the demand of older items and newer ones to go up quite a bit. But of course, there are some downsides to getting a lot of new players in the game. And that's what I want to discuss in today's video. With newer players essentially getting added, there's more and more coming in, people are figuring out the ins and outs of CSGO investing, which is causing it to be a dying breed. Some people are calling it that, which obviously I have my own opinion and personal take on that. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe. And here's a quick word from our video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Now, today's video sponsor is of course Skins Monkey. Monkey. Skins Monkey is currently the easiest and also fastest way you can buy, but most importantly, trade your CSGO skins. All you have to do is make sure you have your trade link, and on your first trade, if you have a leftover balance, it goes towards your current balance that can be used the next time you end up trading skins. It has three ways you can inspect, but most importantly, has a very in-depth inspect feature that you can see corners on a karamet, for an example, that you can't really see otherwise unless you have the item in-game. If you end up topping up your balance, make sure to use promo code MANDO to get up to a 35% deposit bonus and a free $5 on the first trade. So the market ever since since 2019 with Operation Shattered Web has been steadily but surely growing. But where we really saw a boom was in December of 2021 going into Chinese New Year of 2022. You had four to six cent cases that are now currently sitting at over a dollar, which is just kind of crazy. There were so many opportunities for you to invest into CSGO and make a boatload of money, and that worked out for a lot of people, including myself. But with a very large player count, and of course more people coming into the scene, figuring out the ins and outs, CSGO investing this past couple of months has been a lot harder than I really ever could have imagined, and also have ever experienced in my time in the game. You see, investing into cases, for example, this is the best option I can give for most people, is completely different nowadays. People are now considering, and actually are, investing into active duty cases, which four or five years ago, if you even called CSGO investing a thing, most people call you an absolute moron for investing into a video game. That was a really stupid idea to do because they were going to keep dropping for a very long period in time and over time it would go down even more. But nowadays it's quite frankly the opposite. With player counts booming, we're not getting as many cases as people are wanting to unbox. We're getting too many unboxers for how many cases we have on the market, which is causing those cases, especially the new ones that are coming in, to absolutely explode and boom up in price. You had the snake bite case being a three to seven cent case now being a little over 20. The fracture case, the same thing. The clutch case, the same sort of situation, and many others, of course. And then you can go into operations and majors and how those are no longer the same. Stockholm obviously was the one-off, but that was pretty much all due to RMR being a huge failure. And I guess we can really start it from there. Where I kind of got my first wake-up call was with RMR and Operation Broken Fang. Throughout previous years, I started investing in a CSGO was in 2017. Operations, and especially majors, were insanely profitable. Krakow 2017 and Katowice 2019, that was the last major I made a whole lot of money off of. Those are possibly my two most successful investments inside the game. Buying autograph capsules, buying autograph stickers at the time that now were worth thousands if I would have kept them. And for the capsules I did keep, well, that was a fat return for only buying those for 25 cents. But you see, nowadays you can't really do that. A million other people are really thinking the exact same thing as you are where, oh, I'm just going to buy maybe 50 to $100 of these capsules. And well, you see that adds up on the market. You end up something like with RMR where you have like 10 million combined capsules in the market, plus probably another million alone across storage units and inventories. But CSGO investing is especially for the newer things, is not necessarily a dying breed. It's just really all based on timing and of course, what and when you buy. And here are my two main reasons CSGO investing is not dead or going to die anytime soon. There's a couple things that aren't really helping this matter whatsoever. The first one being everyone and their mother's dog are creating videos on YouTube about CSGO investing. When and what people should buy at certain times, the best CSGO investments then, and here, and whatever. You might've seen a lot of similar videos to trade-ups inside of CSGO. These are something that I think the investing CSGO is kind of going towards but not going to hit that point because it's very a lot different. You see CSGO trade-ups used to be very fun. They used to be very affordable and of course very profitable because no one knew about them. Nowadays you have whole websites that tell you certain floats 
where to buy the said skins, what times they're available, and of course the probability and odds with all that. That obviously making it very hard. Why CSGO investing wouldn't turn into something like that is obviously you can't predict the market. You can do your best you can, but really at the end of the day, it's not really going to matter. Most of it's not valid. Another reason why investing in newer things is becoming harder in the game is people are seeing the success of older investments like Cato 19, Krakow 2017, even Stockholm 2021, and they're trying to replicate that with dropping thousands of dollars on things they know nothing really about. But little do they know on top of that, you have 500 people other than you thinking the exact same thing. And while that just piles on the market. So therefore it's not dead. It's just a lot harder to invest inside the game, especially in some newer thing. That's why I myself going forward now am not really going to be buying a whole lot of newer things in the game. So a lot of newer cases that are extremely cheap or maybe more on the expensive side of things this year or majors are a really good example. I won't be spending near as much money as I did at least three or four years ago. And I, that's how I've been really ever since RMR. RMR, I bought 10 Navi golds at almost full price for almost a thousand dollars, which that was very similar to what I made profit wise, but also spent on older majors like Krakow 2017, Katowice 2019, so on and so forward. But I've just kind of realized that investing in newer things is also hard, but it's lengthy and of course very risky. And I'd rather just take that risk and maybe lose a little bit of money in the process and go towards something older that I know is going to go up. So older collections like Gods and Monsters, souvenir packages, invest hell into older capsules like Krakow again, rebuy the ones I sold for five bucks profit back in the day, the sticker capsule too, agent skins, case skins that are obviously going up with that case specifically, gloves from the glove case case, sounded weird. But you kind of get what I'm saying. I'm not stepping away, I'm just doubling down on newer items. Definitely buy some here and there, but I'm not going all in. And I think what hasn't helped at all this year is with player counts being extremely high, people are just willing to buy and spend money on whatever it feels like. And this year's definitely been more of a selling year than buying year. And I've talked about that really all throughout 2022 on how investing in a CSGO this past year really hasn't been the best financial decision, I don't think. We just keep going up and up and up. And with past previous trends in CSGO, it eventually stops and hits a decline that goes pretty hard. And I think that's what we're going to see eventually. Now, when that's going to happen, I am unsure. For months, I thought it was going to happen around now. But very soon, we usually see items go up a crazy amount. It's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens those items then. Two events that I'm very interested to see what happens with in the future, of course, an operation, Source 2, but most importantly, this next upcoming major. The Rio major, I think, is a huge deciding factor for the future of CSGO investing. That's with newer things coming in, but also older things like Stockholm and Antwerp. If we get the same stickers once again, people are going to lose faith in CSGO investing, but I think more so specifically, sticker investing. It's going to be gone. People aren't going to care about Stockholm. People aren't going to care about Antwerp, but most importantly, Rio. And that's going to kill a huge part of the market, and that's kind of the reason why I don't think Valve's going to do that. And with an operation coming out, I think it's going to be heavily overinvested in. You're going to have three or four times as many YouTubers as you did three or four years ago on Operation Broken Fang, Shattered Web telling you what to do for trade-ups. That's going to cause people to spend more money on said stars, for an example, to try and get what they want. Weapon skins at once very rare aren't going to be very rare anymore. And that's why I'm going to be looking at it kind of from a bird's eye view going in as last and as late as possible so I can save the most amount of money, but I'll also take a big chunk of that and go into something older. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? I think CSGO investing is just in a weird spot. There's a lot of different circumstances with this year. Obviously it being very successful with player count has caused a lot of people to open cases and just really affect the market in a positive and negative way, depending on how you look at it. I think the game's going very great. Older skins, older items are always going to go up over time. And I know that's guaranteed for a fact. That's why I'm going there and taking the safe route, even if it doesn't mean necessarily the most amount of profit. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.